Your life begins now. Okay, congratulations for Thank this you. coming movie. Um, Aladdin now playing in all the theaters in the US. Wow, yeah. How does it feel to be a princess? I mean, goodness me. Um, yes, I, I guess you don't feel that way, you know, as an actor, you kind of, like any role, you leave that at the door. However, um, I do think the one time it does feel real is when you meet kids who have seen the movie. You. How did you get past the guards? That was challenging. You cannot just break into a palace like you own the place. If you don't have anything, you have to act like you own everything. Um, I think it was definitely a challenge. Um, the character and, and getting the character right and the balance of, you know, honoring the original, the balance of, you know, her arc, you know, and her story and where she's at in each scene. Um, in, in, that, in that arc, and that character arc. Um, and then also, you know, with the singing, it's a different type of way of singing, you know, to what I'm used to doing. And um, it's definitely, uh, I had to use my instrument in a different way than what I, I, I us usually do. So that was a challenge in itself. And then I sung live as well uh, in the movie, which I, you know, which I, I really wanted to do. I thought it would add a, a great layer in terms of feeling connected to the character and what the character's going through in that moment. So we did a lot live. Speechless, mm. that's a new song, right? Yep, that's a song written by Alan Men Menkin, Pasek and Paul, um, Ben Pasek, Justin Paul, um, incredible writers. Of course, Alan is a legend. And, um, but not only that, you know, the, the song and the message of the song and the lyrics and where it plays in the movie and Jasmine's story and, she's at that point, that crossroads of, you know, does she speak out, does she remain silent? And she takes, she really does have the courage to get, say, no, I'm gonna speak out against injustice that I'm seeing. And, um, and yeah, I, I just, for me, I just feel very blessed that I'm, I'm the person that gets to sing it and, and embody that moment. It just, it's wonderful. If you had that kind of lamp and you can make three wishes, what would it be? I would. Um, number one, I would speak all the languages in the world. Number two, I'd have a magic carpet. Oh. And number three, I would give the wish away. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Because you know, Aladdin gives his his third wish to to the genie. So I'm gonna follow in his footsteps. Now you talk about genie Will Smith. How oh. good he is, right? I mean, he's incredible, isn't he? Um, Oh my gosh, yes. I think this actually might be my favorite performance of him. Um, not that I'm biased or anything because I'm in the movie. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in make me a prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh, no. Right, you'll be snuggled up with that dude for the rest of your life. Yo, Y'all see my palace? Um, but really, he, he just brings everything that you love about Will Smith and uh, he smashes it out of the park. He's so funny, he's hilarious, um, and I, I cannot wait for people to see him. What Do we need the top knot? That's my little cherry on top. Rated PG. You should see these places. I mean, there's a whole world outside of books and maps. Do you want to? How? Every door is guarded. Who said anything about a door? What are you doing? Sometimes, princess. Sometimes, you just have to take a risk. <gasps> what just happened? What? Is this? A magic carpet? Do you trust me? What did you say? Do you trust me?